As the Berlin airlift enters its 10th month, honours for a historical achievement come the way of a band of gallant flyers. Prime Minister Clement Attlee arrives at Gatow Airport to convey Britain's thanks to the men of the airlift, whose magnificent work in keeping Berlin alive has won them the admiration and gratitude of the free world. Accompanied by General Robertson, British military governor in Germany, the Prime Minister sees all aspects of an operation that, in his own words, is one of the wonders of the world. At Tempelhof, Mr. Attlee is shown around by America's General Clay and talks to air crews in the 20-minute break during which their planes are unloaded. The airlift flows on uninterruptedly during the Premier's visit, a plane landing or taking off every 45 seconds. From Templehof, British jeeps escort Mr. Attlee to Mackenzie Barracks, where a squadron of the 11th Hussars, the famous cherry pickers, form a guard of honour. As representatives of the British garrison, they receive the Premier's thanks for carrying out a difficult task with admirable restraint. Concluding a busy day, Mr. Attlee goes to the operations room at Gatow to see the British half of the airlift. Despite the bitter cold, the Premier's inspection calls for a record-breaking day. More than 8,000 tonnes are flown into the besieged capital. Besides food and coal, the air lifeline brings all the things that make a city hum, including machinery and raw materials. After nearly a year of blockade, Mr. Attlee's visit confirms once again Britain's determination to stand by Berliners and beat the blockade. Thank you.